So we got shut out of Mount Whitney for our second day. So we're back in uh, Horseshoe Meadows. We're doing a hike up towards Cottonwood Lakes. A little day hike. Scoped out some climbing. Got some roadside bouldering in. Hopefully tomorrow they open up the road and uh, we can head up to Whitney, scope out the conditions, and make a decision from there. Right now, clouds are looking a little ominous, but so far it seems like thunderstorms are happening afternoon. Guess we'll see when we get there. Does that feel good? So we made it to some cool alpine lake here. Not sure which one this is. It's on the way to Cottonwood Lakes. That's pretty awesome. Chris is gonna check his map, see what peak this is behind us. We got peaks here and here. Maybe if we don't go to Whitney, we can do one of these. Yeah, let's freaking go up that. All right, so I guess we're turning around here. We're still not sure what these peaks are. They're unnamed on the map. We do have Mount Langley, if we were to keep going that way, Cottonwood Lakes. Maybe we'll change our trip to Mount Langley. Yeah. We'll see, it all depends on the, on the road. If Whitney Portal Road is open. Stupid fires. But right now we've got thunder. Here thunder, we don't see lightning, so we're gonna turn around and back to camp. All right, so we got our update. <laughs> We are going to go hike Mount Langley for a couple nights. We're going to spend our nights over at Cottonwood Lakes, uh, Long Lake, and then we're going to go summit Mount Langley and possibly Mount Cirque, yeah. I think is the other one. Yeah, Cirque. So we're going to try to do those two peaks instead of Whitney, which is currently enveloped in smoke from my perspective right now, and uh, Russell. So at least we're doing something outdoors. Oh, weird. I wonder if, since I'm recording out here, it stopped the music in there. Oh, in interesting. So behind me is the fire that's keeping us from uh, getting to Whitney Portal. So now we're heading back up the grade here, back up the grade uh, to Cottonwood, uh, Horseshoe Meadows area. And um, we're gonna continue our adventure there. Best part about waking up Folgers Instant in your cup. Mm. So today we are going to pack up our camp here at kind of Horseshoe Meadow area. And uh, we're going to head up to Long Lake, which is up near Cottonwood Lakes. And then that's where we're going to set up our base camp. Um, then we're going to hit up Langley tomorrow. And if we have the time, hopefully Cirque Peak. I uh, still don't have a definite route how we're going to do that. Hopefully just after we hit Langley, if weather permits, which is actually pretty decent right now. If uh, weather permits, then we'll just follow the ridge over to Cirque Peak. Um, if not, we can always make a push the next day. Maybe we'll find some climbing out there. started our first day. We're now camped over here at Long Lake. As you can see, this place is a horrible, horrible spot to be. Not very pretty at all. There's the tent. So this is going to be our base of operations for the next day or so. Um, in the morning we are going to head up that way over towards um, New Army Pass, and then that will take us up to Langley. If we are lucky enough over that way, right over there, that's a 
that over there is Cirque Peak, and that will be our our second day, hopefully our second peak. We'll see how this goes. So this is my gravity filter. Got this a couple years ago. Just now finally starting to use it. It's pretty cool. Hell of a lot better than hand pumping your water. However, the only downside is you need to have somewhere to hang it. You don't have anywhere to hang it. Then you have to hold it. And if you're holding it, your arms can get tired. So, so far, I'm really digging this for this trip. See how it works. See if it uh, continues to do awesome. Open this filter here, we'll hold up long enough. But yeah, my gravity filter. Pretty cool. Chris found this awesome rock. It was, uh, it was up over there. I think what he found here, something called a leverite. Because you leave it right there. Like true Sierra Nevada fashion, it's about three o'clock and it's starting to hail on us. Uh, we were told it might hail, so we gotta grab our stuff and put it in the tent. Yeah, that stuff. Because uh, we don't want to get all of our food wet. And last we heard, uh, these hail uh, episodes can last for three hours. So if we're gonna be bunkered in our tent for three hours, then we need to get our food in there so we can survive. Because three hours without food, we might not. Yeah, it's starting to come down pretty hard now. We're waiting for lightning. I don't hear any lightning. Um, holy crap. Holy hail, it's coming down. Oh no, grab the stuff. <laughs> it's coming down. Oh uh, yeah, I have to take the water bottle. Oh, uh, do you want your... It's coming down, we'll, we'll have to leave that behind. <laughs> we have to seek shelter. We have to seek shelter. Get away from the Sierra Nevada hail. Uh. Oi. I think we're safe. Oh, nope. Chris just trapped himself between the, <laughs> the door and the vestibule. Yeah. Good job, Chris. I figured. Man, listen to that. So this will apparently last for about three hours. So now we gotta get comfy and cozy. Maybe play a game of Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Game of Yahtzee going on here. You already have a small straight. But I already did a small straight. Uh-oh. Decisions, decisions. I guess I'm gonna go for my ones. He's going for his ones. Not going for that large straight. Oh, look at that. Deuces. Snake eyes. jambalaya cooking first time with this recipe so hopefully it comes out okay it's just dehydrated rice mixed vegetables some creole seasoning and summer sausage oh and I also made some tomato leather and put the tomato leather in there as well the tomato leather acts as uh, just some, some tomato sauce in there Hopefully this comes out pretty good. I'm excited for it. I hope Chris is excited for it. I'm excited. I don't know about this yeah, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a little spicy, so. Mm. Oh yeah, we survived the hailstorm. We survived, but the clouds are still looking a little dark. We might get some rain. We'll see pretty awesome out here still. I already went and checked out those rocks. Not a lot of climbing over there. Maybe on the upper ridge. We're not going there. We're going to Lane. All right. Well, Chris and I got a little bored in the evening and decided to uh, take a, a jaunt up the rock side. Our rock 
Um, I don't know, what is this? I have no idea what this is. It's not a peak, it's just the side of the mountain. We decided to come up, so now way down there is the lake we're staying at. Matter of fact, our camp, uh, my tent's like right in there area. So, yeah, decided to get some climbing in. It was mostly uh, fighting our way up some scree and then some third class scrambling. It's four o'clock in the morning. We're attempting our alpine start of uh, Mount Langley. Slept like crap last night. We tried going to bed super early, but yeah. All right, it's almost five o'clock. We got our butts up early enough. We're gonna get our alpine start on. Here we come, Mount Langley for our birthday summit. And hopefully after that, weather and time permits, we get up Cirque Peak. Pass. All right, we made it to New Army Pass. Down there is where we were camping. Not that lake, but somewhere down over there. Um, let's see. Over here, there's Mount Langley. That's where we're going to. And then, if we're feeling good, we're gonna head on over here. Cirque Peak, right there behind me. How you doing, Chris? It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty darn good. So yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I'm ready to tackle this on. See where the day takes us. So. Pretty cool view. All right. Cirque Peak. Mount Lingley. We got it. We're almost, almost to the top. Top is, uh, yeah, that one. No, it's over there. Sorry, there's the top somewhere up there. Uh, so we only have a little bit ways to go. These nice little stone cairns are here to uh, tell us where to go. We've passed a few of them already coming up. As far as I can tell, we're the only ones this high up. There's a couple parties down below us, but there could be a couple parties up ahead of us. We just haven't seen anybody ahead of us yet. So, feeling pretty good so far. At least I am. I'm dying. <laughs> Chris is dying. <laughs> but hey, it's his first 14er, so kind of got to expect that a little bit. Heart rate's going up. No, yours is probably closer to 160. Anyways, weather's okay so far. You can see there are some scattered clouds, some dark scattered clouds. We haven't had anything that looks like rain yet, but this big black cloud above us I mean otherwise here. Good thing I brought rain gear, just in case. All right, got only maybe a couple more miles to go. And we'll be up there. See you at the top. This is it, the final. Approach to the top. Almost there. I see the registry box. Mount Langley, 14,000, like 80 feet. Right here, U.S. Geologic Survey. Woo! Mount Whitney. Mount Chris Picasta. This guy's an animal. His first 14,000 foot peak. I'm about to uh, turn the camera around and show you the 
sheer cliff that's right here. Those of you who are not savvy of heights, don't look down. Woo! Next, we'll be trying to climb this way. Yeah, right. Yep, still smoked in the fire. Won't drop my phone. <laughs> if I drop my phone, nobody's gonna get to watch this video. Smoke in the distance, fire's still going. Yeah, first one's on the summit. Birthday summit. Birthday summit, yeah! First and only people on the summit. I'm pretty stoked about this. For today. For today, <laughs> for right now. There's about two parties heading up behind us. Cirque Peak over yonder. We'll see if we get to that. Probably not. Woo! All right, we are on our way down. Spent some time up at the summit of Mount Langley. Show them your button. Made some cool new friends. I got a cool button here that says birthday princess because it is my birthday. <laughs> Met another group who was celebrating their 50th birthday on the same day, so some birthday twinsies. So now we're heading back down. Clouds are looking really dark and gross. So chances are we are not going to be able to do Cirque Peak, which is that one right over there. So we're just gonna work our way down, see where the day takes us. Maybe just hang out at camp for the rest of the day. I don't know. Maybe hang out with our new friends. We'll see. So we made it back to camp. Not, what, 45 minutes after we left the summit of Langley? Yeah. It started hailing on us big time. Uh, got soaked to the bone. But thankfully the hail stopped for now. Um, got my pants hanging up here in the background. Hopefully they dry out. Um, but yeah, we made it back. Obviously we couldn't make it to Cirque because of the lightning and hailstorms. So we're just gonna hang out down here, see what the weather does, make a plan for later. up for our last day here out at Long Lake. We're going to head back over to Crabtree, not Crabtree, Horseshoe Meadows, um, figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the trip. Um, it's up in the air. We might go home today or tomorrow, or we might go somewhere else. So we're going to see what we're going to do, try to plan something out, and go from there. But until then, we're going to say goodbye to this beautiful little campsite, which we had all to ourselves entire last couple days over here at Long Lake. Pretty cool place. So we'll see what we do later today. Boy am I glad to see you. Yeah. All right, so we made it to the end, back to the truck. We get a little victory beer here. Victory oh my beer. goodness. Oh, oh. This Cheers. one's going a little crazy. Cheers. <laughs> Would have been fun to have this at the summit, but we decided to leave it down here. So Ooh. now we're going to head down into town and uh, make a game plan. This might be it. We might be going home today, or we might find a new adventure. We'll only see. Cheers.